Okay, so, hi guys, this is Miss Lollipop, and welcome back to the Sims 3 Legacy Challenge. Um, this is episode 34, 34, yeah. Um, and I'm continuing from, well, slightly where we left off. Um, I had another problem with the recording again, so I forgot to record the first half. But, um, I'm just gonna carry on from here because, to be honest, we didn't actually do much. It was just a whole morning routine and whatnot. Um... So everybody is at work and school, um, and it is also Logan's birthday, so he will be aging up uh, when he gets home. We're not going to throw him a party though, because we had the party yesterday, and um, it's just, I don't know, annoying to look after people and things, so they can go without it. Um, but Demi is crying, so go ahead and sort her out here. And she needs a bit of loving. No, don't play with Shadow. Uh, change her. Nappy. Give her a bottle. And then snuggle her. And then... You can go grab... Um, Jacob. And then give him the whole works. So, um, in the last part, uh, if you commented on the video, then thank you very much. Um, I may not have actually replied... Because sometimes it's not on, um, sometimes you don't share it on Google Plus if you're not part of Google Plus. So I can't actually directly reply, uh, directly reply. But, um, if you are part of Google Plus then I probably did reply to you. Or at least I hope I replied. But, um, yeah, so thank you for all the comments. Um, they really helped so that I could, um, you know, make my decision. And I went with what you guys, you know, um, what you guys allowed me to do. Um, and I placed the house next to us, uh, because obviously I've already pre-built it. So I placed it um, over to the right of us over here. Um, so this is it. Uh, the inside is not completely finished. What the hell is that? Okay, that shouldn't be there. Oh, that's a, that's a bed. Okay, the bed, like, let's see, there's literally just a bed, like, in there. So I can designate rooms, but, okay, I'll go ahead and move that later on. But, um, yeah, here is what the house looks like. I kind of decorated it, kind of not. You can kind of see inside it, I guess. Slightly. Yeah, kind of. Um, and I am hoping you guys will like it. Um, I can take it around the back if you want. Um, this is what it looks like around the back. But, uh, yeah. So, hopefully we'll be able to move in here soon-ish. And, uh, yeah, that should be exciting. But, um, I'll do a full overview on it when we, you know, move in. But, until then... We'll stay in our house because it is worth a lot of money. And right now we do not have that sort of money. Because it is, um... What? Okay, somebody lives there. They're going to have to get the F out of there. Because that is my house. So I'll go ahead and extract them out of there later on. But, um, yeah, it's worth about £343,000. And we don't really have that right now. But eventually we'll get to it, okay? We'll get there. But um, in the meantime, we're going to call the repair technician to come repair everything that is broken and stuff. And no, we are not going to France. Thank you very much. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we can clean Remy's food bowl, fill Remy's food bowl, clean Mike's geranium, fill Mike's, clean shadows, and then fill shadows bowl. Um... And the, oops, the repair technician will be over in about an hour. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get the extra 30,000 that we have for the inheritance. Uh, so we'll get 30,000 for that. Or 34,000, which is nice. Um, so we'll be there in no time with the rate that we're going. So I'm not going to move Logan out until he reaches 30,000. So we can take his inheritance and then we'll kick him out. Um... But he's on 27,000 at the minute, so we'll bump him up to 30,000 and then we'll go for it. Um, Theo Walter would like to go over Doreen Wozni's after school. Is this okay? And uh, yeah, that's fine because obviously that is um, Logan's girlfriend. But it would be nice for Theo to have a relationship with his brother's girlfriend, I guess. A bit weird, but I will. Um, the babies are crying, so don't do that. Um, Demi needs her nappy changed. And then go and play with her. And we was also paid for our personal time off. 
Um, and I'm also going to be aging up uh, Kimberly in this episode because it is way overdue and I've forgotten to do it. But um, I'll do that in a second here. There we go. So I will also um, age her up when we age up uh, Logan. And Leah Walter would also like to go over Judith Funk's after school. I'm um, sure. I like to see that uh, my kids making friends, so I can go ahead and do that. Um, cinnamon stinks outside, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, sort her out here. So feed her a tree, let her sniff her hand, pet her, talk to her, and then give her a brush, and then we'll also give her a bath. Um, wait, we don't have a bath, do we? Okay, she can't have a bath. Screw her. She can just be brushed. Um. I don't know what she's doing though. She's barking. Um, but Callum had just finished work, and he's earned us money as well. And he also got a, he got a killer party. Oh, he got the moodlet for it. So Callum is in a much friendlier mood after the great reception from his party, which was uh, which is nice. Um, so he's home now, and obviously he's not gonna do that anymore because. No more kids are popping out of Kimberly's belly. Um, so, why don't you go clean up a little bit? Um, uh, do we have a maid? I don't think we do. So, I'm going to go ahead and call a maid here for us to come in, um, come in every day. Uh, because obviously we can kind of afford it. And it would be nice for us to not have to clean it all the time. Uh, so you can go ahead and do your homework. And uh, you are doing your homework. So we'll go ahead and call up the maid. And it's £125 an hour. Uh, n not an hour. <laughs> Jesus, that'll be a lot. Um, £125 per day, which is not bad. Um, so Callum needs to clean that a second. Oh, wait. No, somebody else is going to clean that for you. You don't even worry. Uh, I want to take Callum out to somewhere. Mm, what does he need to do there? Read a police book. Okay, um, well, he can do that later, I guess. For the minute, I would like him to go sign um, Leah and Renee up for ballet. Um, and then sign up Thea for... What is she? The art is handy, neurotic. Okay, well then we'll go ahead and sign Thea up for study club. So she can do her homework. And uh, yeah, that will do. Um, and then he needs to come home actually because everybody's going to be growing up. And uh, I don't want him to miss this time. Because <laughs> uh, last time he missed it, didn't he? Because uh, he was shagging some bird. So, I'll go ahead and buy the cakes here. So we'll buy first cake, second cake, and then we can grow them all up. So, um, Logan never did get to go to um. He never did get to go to prom because for some reason it wouldn't work. But oh well, I'm sure there'll be another prom. And he's also on uh, the honor roll as well. So we'll be able to grow him up now uh, while he's on the honor roll. So he doesn't actually need to do his homework. So we'll go ahead and blow out candles for Logan here. Uh, Leah and Renee are now signed up for ballet as well, which is nice. And obviously the maid's going to come over and celebrate for us. So... Our first young adult. Uh huh. You can blow him out. Okay. And also, Theo is now signed up for study club, and he's on his way home. Cinnamon doing right neutrally. I don't know. Oh. 
Okay, so Logan is finally a young adult uh, with all the privileges and responsibilities of adulthood. His future is wide open, what will he accomplish? Because of his success in school, I may now choose a trait for Logan. So I'll go ahead and give him... Um, so he's rebellious, loves the outdoors, flirty, athletic, and I'll go ahead and make him ambitious? Yeah, I'll go ahead and make him ambitious uh, so he can get further up in his career for us. Um, so... Before he does anything, I would like to take him over to go change his appearance. And he looks a hell of a lot like Callum. Um, wow. He looks exactly like Callum. And he would like to join the culinary career, like his mother. And uh, I guess we can do that for him. But in the meantime, we need to get him dressed and things. He can go use his sister's stuff. Um, and now it is Kimberly's turn to grow up as well. So blow out, okay, I, I'll do that after, I guess. Um, so, hair. Yeah, as you can see, he looks a hell of a lot like Callum. Like, Jesus Christ. Um, we'll go ahead and give him a hair here. Um, no... No. Um, I don't know what suits him. That does not suit him. That's a horrible hairstyle. Um, that looks like it's greasy. Um, that's what he's had all his life. I want to give him something a bit different, you know? Um, ow, to just hit my hand. Um, Um, he looks hot with that, actually. Um, he also kind of looks hot with that. Well, Callum did look hot with that as well. I'm going to go ahead and give him this one. Um, his dad had it when he was younger, but, uh, obviously now that he's young, we'll just say that he inherited it, <laughs> so. Um, now for his eyebrows, because they are scary at the minute. I'm going to go ahead and change those. Um, we'll give him some manly eyebrows. Um. Um. Don't really like any of those. I kind of like those. It kind of makes him look less angry at everybody. I'll go ahead and give him that. Um, and also give him some facial hair. With my custom one. I had to make that same colour as him. Okay, he looks way too much like his dad. Okay, I can't I can't even do that. You can have stubble. Uh, maybe he should just go without the stubble because he just looks too much like his dad. Okay, you're not having that. And then you got a Leo. <laughs> um No, he's gonna go without the stubble because he looks too much like his dad with the stubble. And that's just creepy and I will not want to see that. So we'll go ahead and lock that in here. Uh, and then, Jesus Christ, and pants. I did not even see those. We're changing them. Because they are not of style at all. Um, so now he's going to head upstairs to go plan his outfit. A cinnamon just bit him. Go eat from the bowl. Uh, Kimberly is now going to grow up too. Into an adult. Uh... She probably won't look that much different other than, you know, a bit of wrinkles and all that. And she would also like to see Logan get married. And of course we're going to do that because uh, I want to see that. And it's going to take us up into Logan's bit. Okay, no, he's going to come back downstairs. Will I get rid of them pants on him later on? And blow out the candles. And is she going to grow up here? Take your time. Okay, a little bit too loud.
Okie dokies. So, Kimberly is now a fully mature, at least some of the time, adult. She really needs to think about establishing herself in her career and family life while there is still time. So, um, obviously she has like the childish looking pigtails, but we'll go ahead and get rid of the cake interaction and you can go change your appearance. So we're going to get you some new hair and then also plan your outfit. And she doesn't actually look that much different. She looks a little bit different, but um, not by too much, uh, which is good because you don't really want to show your age, especially when you get older. Okay, maybe she does look a little bit older, but only by a little bit, I guess. The pigtails are not helping, because this is like, she's trying to make her look younger than really what she is. We'll go ahead and sort that out here. Wait for it to load up. Um, so, what hairstyle should I give her? Got like, ones with hats. No, that ain't working for you. Um, got a high ponytail. No, no, not feeling that, uh, obviously not. Um, got a normal point shell though. What custom bits have I got? No, I already know who I want to put that on. And obviously it looks way too young for her. Uh, no, that just looks strange for some reason. Um, It takes me forever to find anything to put on my sims. Um, I don't know, maybe I want to give her a bun or something. Not with these bits in it. But I'll give her it without those bits. Because I think I have a custom one of it. A custom version. Um, I don't know, do I like that? I like the highlights in it. <laughs> They're kind of cute. I thought I wanted to look old, do we? I mean, I wouldn't want to look old if I was old. Um, I don't know, maybe she should have a shorter hair though. Let me go look at normal hairs without accessories. Um, what will make her look, you know, not too old, but not like she's trying <laughs> too hard? Um. I just give her an updo, you know? But then she looks older than what she's, you know, supposed to. Could give her an updo, I guess. Um, I don't know. Why does this take so long? A bit too big. Oh look, the ice cream man. Oh, I really want an ice cream. I really want an ice cream. I don't want ice cream. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just gonna go run and grab an ice cream. Okay, okay see you guys in a so, second. Hi guys, I'm back. And uh, yeah, sorry about that moment, but uh, I really did fancy an ice cream. So I went out and I bought an ice cream, and it was good. Um, so, it is now about, I'd say about two hours since I got my ice cream. Because I ended up uh, downloading a few bits and bobs. And, uh, yeah. And, um, yeah, I, I guess so. So, um, I'm going to head back in and finish customising them. And um, I did put Kimberly in a hair, but I've just now realised that it's the same as Thea's. So... We'll go ahead and uh, change that. And I've also installed a bit of custom content since you've seen. And um, so I just want to take her in and have a look at some of the new skin tones.
guys, this is Miss Lollipop, and wow, I'm doing my intro. Uh, didn't actually mean to say that, but hey ho. Um, so, uh, I am back. Um, once again, it's been a big time period since what you saw last. And um, you saw me build, and then you may have seen a jump cut, and then I moved, and then I carried on. Uh, it's because I had to go out um, to drop my friend off home. But now I am back, and um, uh, yeah. So, uh, we're going to finish this part off, um, for the night, uh, and because I just started the game up, it's going to start, straight progression, um, um, okay, that's good. Uh, so yeah, I finished their makeovers, as you probably saw in that little fast forward bit, and, um, obviously Kimberly looks, uh, Kimberly, that is a sexy mother trucking face, like, oh my... Um, so as you can see, with her disgusting look on her face, uh, I gave her this uh, this piece of clothing here, and I thought it suits her because you know it's kind of like a motherly sort of feel, and also a bun, and um, because obviously Thea had the other bun, so I thought I'd give her a different one. <laughs> um, but now, oh no, I've already done your outfit. Uh, but now I need to finish, um, or oh, I need to sort them all out. So, um. Let me, like, get myself in gear here. So, Thea is going to go shower. Thea is going to come upstairs and shower. Renee is going to come upstairs and shower. And then Logan is going to go to sleep. Kimberly is going to go grab the baby. Baby number one, being Demi. Um, and sort her out. And Callum is going to come grab baby number two. And sort him out, being Jacob. And there we go. Nice pattern right there. Love it. So we'll go sort the both of them out. Uh, Leah is behaving inappropriately. If she continues, I might. I, I will have to ask her to leave. Um, well, she's coming home now anyways. I'm assuming she was over somebody's house. But, I oh will. Um, so we'll go ahead and sort the babies out here. Uh, so once Renee has done that, do you have any homework? No, you've finished your homework. So once you've done that, you can go to sleep. Um, no, you can go to sleep. Uh, once you, you're sleeping already, once you're finished, you can go to sleep. Um, once you're finished, you can go use the toilet, then have a shower, and then go to sleep. And once you're finished, you can go downstairs. Um... Let me like put all these different foods away as leftovers. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. I'll help the maid out a bit. Even though we are paying this bitch to like tidy up. Did I lose that piece of cake? Where'd my cake go? Was it? Oh, it better be in there. I bet you I've lost it somewhere. Oh well. Uh, I'll go ahead and put those in there. Like that. Nice. Um, And before the day ends, in fact like before you do anything um i would like you to go eat some leftover pumpkin pie and then you can call for services before you go to bed um oh no no don't call for services i mean call for the pet adoption and we'll see if there's a pet to adopt from the shelter yet um and the babies are all sorted good and then leah's gonna be going to sleep nice one so everybody is um sorted and checked um, and I'm really, really sorry that this part has been really, like, honestly all over the place. This part has been, oh, I've been trying to record this part for pretty much the whole entire day. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry about that, but hey-ho, I've got it under control now. Um, and I'd also like to thank you for all of your comments, because I got um, a t tons more uh, than what I had last time uh, when I looked at my YouTube channel um, a second ago. So I would like to thank you guys for all your comments. They really do appreciate them. And, uh, yeah, you know, keep commenting because I just love replying to you guys. And um, if you ever need any help with anything on The Sims, uh, I guess I could try and help you if you needed something. If I don't know, then um, I'll try to look it up for you. If you can't be bothered to look it up, um, I'll try if you want to. And I'll, uh, you know, reply back to you. So, thought I'd get that out there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and call the shelter here. I tried this morning, but I, th you know, it's half ten, so maybe, um, there might be more. So, 
we are looking for a male small dog and nope no more I guess we'll have to check that tomorrow no nope, there's no different ones obviously we're not gonna have a horse but oh well no animals to adopt but oh well and um, actually before you do that I need to go around and fill the animals food bowls up actually just go fill Mike's because Mike's is kind of empty and then you need to come sort out Demi here and also Jacob there we go and then you can go to sleep there nice one um cinnamon is going to go inside to sleep aren't you cinnamon yes and don't you just find that crazy how her eyes are like that like one blue one gr uh, one brown it's crazy so everybody's growing up as well obviously they're all growing up at the same time as us because the time span is set for everybody, but I don't know, I kind of find it cute. I like the people that we've grown up with and now getting older. But um, obviously now that Jacob is older, and um, I'm going to keep him in the house for a bit because I need um, him to get to the 30,000 and then and then I'll move him out. But obviously he'll come to parties and everything with us. Um, but I'm going to obviously get him a job uh, because we need the extra income because we're working towards that uh, that house that we want. Uh, let me go ahead and also turn this up because um, I do like to have my young adults for a while. Um, this is something that I do. I don't know. It's something that I like to have. So, um, Callum's going to go ahead and head to bed here. And I am going to end the episode off here. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed and I am super sorry that it's been all over the place. Um, but I will get this in shape and I will get back to um, regular updo, uh, reg updos. Yep, that's the word. Um, somebody's shouting in the background, just ignore them. Uh, I'll get, uh, you know, back to... Wow, stop shouting! Okay, I'll get back to um, regular uploads, um, you know, every day. So... That will be good. And I'm trying to drown out the person talking in the background. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next episode. I love you all. Bye, guys.